Hey Scorpio, it's Mama TPG with One Love, One Light. Welcome to your Enchanted Path reading. So we're going to get started with an Enchanted Map Oracle. Oh, we got one. We got two that came out. So we have Magic Prayer and Intention. So let's read both of those. Number 32. Where are my glasses? So sorry, I wasn't prepared. All right, glasses, book, magic prayer. Speak your prayers, listen for the answers, act in faith. When you see the magic prayer card, it is a reminder that your prayers will be answered. Spirit is always waiting to help you and to heal you when you're in need. That said, the best prayer is, Thy will be done through me, thy will and not mine be done. Conscious contact with your higher power is achieved through the ritual of prayer and meditation. Speak and listen to the divine force within the field of creation. Surrender your wishes and desires to spirit. You may not get what you want, but you will surely get what you need. Your destiny awaits you. As long as you keep in conscious contact with your higher power, be assured that you are on the right path. Oh, I love that. I love the magic prayer. Okay, and then, so you got 32 and 22. Um, 22, I'm trying to think who else got that intention one. I don't remember. It might have been um, Gemini, but I can't remember. Okay, deliberate, clear intentions have the power to change your world. Your objectives will be fulfilled at this time. Inspired intentions are like magic arrows shot into the sky. Kind of that eight of swords or eight of wands energy. The universe is bringing you a gift, showing you that you're hitting your mark. Recognize that you're not the one who has to do all the work, however. Others help you co-create reality. You connect to the power of your intention, sending it out into the field, then allow for synchronicity to work its magic. Perhaps the good intentions of others will inspire you to send out beautiful ones of your own. Own the life you want to lead and live deliberately with clarity and detachment. So I'm getting like this meditation and prayer on what you intend here, right? I mean, that's like easy, an easy way to interpret this. But let's see what's in this ancestral. Okay, I'm not getting those cards right because I'm only meant to have one. All right, so let's get ancestral path tarot to further clarify this. What do we have for Scorpio? Okay, we have the High Priestess. So I feel like this is that special connection with the divine, knowing the veil is thin, knowing the way through the veil, and having specific intention. And then we have Justice. These look very similar to me, I don't know why, but so it's because of the pillars, right? So seeing the light and shadow aspects of everything and still having the intention that can incorporate them. Um, I did do a light and shadow reading uh, for you, Scorpio. I think you got two messages on the week of fortune. So there's definitely been some strong energy and messages coming through for you. With the high priestess and justice, I just feel like there's this like overcoming of karma and finally balancing out to get your wish fulfillment. It's like you've, you've put in all the hard work here. All right, we got the tower. So three major arcana here. So the tower, that means divine intervention. So I feel like as long as you're connecting with your higher power and you have the intention set, it, this tower is going to be a good tower for you. And you know what? The tower moment is always actually good. It just doesn't always feel like it at the time. So let's go ahead and clarify with the Enchanted Forest Tarot. Why is this High Priestess here? 
and we have the Six of Cups. And I love how the High Priestess has the scrolls and she has this book. I feel like there's like information or, you know, like knowledge. There's something about knowledge here. And then we have the Enchanter, the Magician. And we have the Seven of Challenges, Seven of Swords. So I feel like what's happening here is this like need to create. And for some of you, you're creating, you're creating um, space for, for your soulmate to come through. But I also get that you need to make sure you're protect, protect, protected. And I feel like with this justice card, it's telling you that you are protected and with the magic prayer. Why is this justice card here? And we have the Enchanter's Wheel, the Wheel of Fortune. What else? We have the Five of Pentacles. And the Ten of Swords. So, yeah, I feel like it's time. Like, you've been through the time alone without support. You have been betrayed. And it's like the wheel is turning in your favor and finally balancing this out. This is beautiful. Why is this tower here? We have the moonlight, moon card. We have the eighth or the nine of, um, the nine of cups. Why does it look like that? <laughs> Uh, it's the Nine of Cups. It's wish fulfillment, okay? And then we have the King of Swords. So I feel like this is like saying like, let go of the past. Your wish fulfillment is coming through. You're gonna, the tower's coming in to take down things that, that, that have been hard to overcome, like as far as fears go. Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles. This has been a long time coming, very long time coming for you. So I feel like, you know, this um, eclipse is going to be especially impactful to you and for you. So let's get some guidance from the Whispering Woods. Enchanting Secrets from the Forest. I love this theme, this reading. Okay, what guidance do we have for Scorpio? And we have reconnect, and it says secrets lurk in the captive shadows deep in the woods. And I feel like that's coming out right there on that tower and moon card. So it's like, it's like letting go of the fears because you have, you're carrying the light now. So when you go in the shadows, you're not in the darkness, if that makes sense. All right, anything else for Scorpio? We have transform. Emerge with beauty and grace from your cocoon. So you may have been going through this transformation. Yeah, everything that you've been put through has been all for purpose, for a purpose, for your purpose. And then we have friends. The most unlikely friendships can form like variegated lichens on, hard, I think that's how you say it, on hard rock, they create a tight bond. So you may be coming into um, your spiritual tribe, and I feel like this is going to change. This is going to be a part of the transformation, as well as reconnecting with, you know, maybe um, old friends that, or family members that you have been estranged from. Let's get one more. And we have woods. Be like the woods, calm, soothing, mysterious, and full of life. That is you, Scorpio. So thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And remember, the universe has your back, and so do I. Take care.